Do, 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 do. Good afternoon. Good afternoon indeed. Uh, I'm here with a few Martin acoustics in my hands at the moment. I have a Martin John Lennon D28 signature. Martin John Lennon D28 signature. You can see a little scribble of John Lennon's own drawing there on the headstock. If you can quite see that, I'll pull that back. Uh, it's got some interesting um, fingerboard inlays there. A pair of sunglasses and a few other things, a moon and a star. Let's have a bit of a listen to it. This is a John Lennon signature D28. It's not very old at all. It's here in the shop. It just came in. Oh. interesting uh, nice warm sound on it it's beautifully made by Martin D28 John Lennon signature here at the guitar kernel don't blame me if I don't get the John Lennon stuff correct Twenty-eight. Okay, that's a John Lennon D28. What do I think of it? Very easy to play. It's a nice warm sound. I'm thinking the fingerboard is made of ebony, but I'm not 100% on that, but it certainly looks like ebony. Uh, hmm. I'll do another Beatles song. We'll use my fingers.
not too bad. I hope that stream's coming through all right, if you can hear me out there. Looked a bit uh, jolty before, but uh, I'm going to switch guitars. So that was the John Lennon D28 signature. It's probably a year or two old, this one. Uh, it's model number 65. Number 65. They didn't make too many of them. Continuing on, on our journey... Hmm, this is a D28. It's a fairly recent D28 as well. This would be maybe two years old, uh, two or three years old. Let's have a listen. Mm, slightly different sound. Okay, let's play something similar. So we were playing uh, a bad version of Dear Prudence before. Let's do another bad version of it. Hey, that's not too bad. Uh, I own a D28, so I'm probably a little bit partial to the D28, just the stock standard one. Although I've got a D28P, which is a model that came out a few years ago with a performance neck on it. Um, let's, play. let's play. Let's play some Foo Fighters or something. fair old sound. This is pretty lightweight, this one as well. This is definitely lighter than my D28P, which is a little bit older. Okay, I think if you're bashing out a pub rock song, whoops, then the D28 is a cool way to go. Let's move along, moving right along. Let's go to D35. Mm -hmm. Let me just reach over and grab myself allow myself to grab myself. I mean, grab this D35. Here we are. Uh, that's kind of nice too. That's really sweet. That's got some, uh, that's got some power and wallop in it. Young Emma is on. Hello, Emma. Emma Wiggle. Bryce Skidmore. Sir Bryce has joined. You're going to come in and play some drums in here, bro. We'll do a little live broadcast. Ooh, well, I think I have my favorite in my hands, a D35. That's interesting, because normally I don't love a D35, but this is killer. It's got the nice binding on the side. Uh, let's play that John Lennon-y type track again. Uh, badly.
that's kind of cool. Let's do some stones. That's sweet, that's a D35. If you've just joined us, we've got a bunch of Martins that have come in. I'm doing a quick comparison. We have the John Lennon before, a stock standard D28, and this is a stock standard uh, D35. play House of the Rising Sun. Why not? Got a cool band, Rob and the Melancholics. Is that correct? Promote your band, Rob. Hmm, a little bit of blues. My stream seems to be lagging at the moment for some wacky reason. That's the, uh, oh, it's uh, Rob Jones and the Melancholics Anonymous. Mmm. <laughs> Playing at a venue near you. D35. Kind of impressive. All right, I'm going to plonk this over here and try not to uh, destroy it. Uh, and then we have the Ed, little Ed Sharon uh, Martin. I don't know if you can see this, so little. All right. I like that, that's kind of sweet. It's got a lot of projection for what it is.
Ed Sheeran, I hope that's sounding all right out there. Hopefully not distorting too much. That's a sweet guitar. I actually like the Ed Sheeran. <laughs> of all of them, it's a $900 guitar, but why not? Sharon's own Martin. I can't believe I'm saying it, but I actually like it. Good on you, Ed. And he likes to eat kebabs or something. Isn't that good? Um, so yeah, so wow, okay. Well, that's a quick comparison. We did the John Lennon, a D28, a stock standard D28, a D35, and now the Ed Sharon. and man, I don't know. You know I'm liking the Ed. I mean, I like them all. They're all good. The John Lennon's great. But this is kind of sweet. I don't think they make these anymore. So um, this just came in. sold. I want myself an Ed Sheeran. I do. Uh, so I've had a John Lennon and I've had a D35 and a D28 and they're all great. They're fantastic. But these are, these are really cool. You know, amazing. So um, yeah, anyway, they're all here. Come in and try them. I think that's enough from me this afternoon. Enjoy your Saturday wherever you are in Australia. Kim Wall has joined. What's your band, Kim Wall? I can't remember the name of it, but it's a rock and roll band. Now let me know and I'll promote it. James Gavay. Hello, James. Martin make even little boxy guitars that sound good. Well, I'm not sure if you meant little boy or little boxy guitars. Either way, it's true. It's true.
a quick rehash. Okay. Martin, John Lennon. I'll just play the same thing I was playing there. It probably won't sound as cool because uh, it's a different sort of guitar, but... Uh... <laughs> That's a sweet guitar as well. <laughs> what was I saying before? This is pretty cool. That's a John Lennon. Uh, quickly again, and you do the D28. Personally prefer the triple O and OM Dreadnoughts. And James Covey says, yes, I've got a triple O out, out the other end there, but um, out in the other room, but these ones are newer, so newer in the shop anyway. I thought I'd give it a go. I did the peace sign on the back of the Lennon guitar. I dig the peace sign. Yeah, same. <clears throat> I'm digging it. I'm a child of the 60s, my friend. Peace and, peace and love, as Ringo always says whenever you see Ringo interviewed. He has nothing else to say except peace and love, peace and love. Thanks, Ringo. Thanks for your, your wonderful insights there. No, we love Ringo. the three the d35 before but no, i don't know i'm back on the lennon and the d28 man i'm gonna say i'm gonna i like the lennon i'm gonna go the lennon and the ed sheeran wow the most expensive and the cheapest there's kind of no in between hey uh thanks for joining me this afternoon i'm gonna leave you with that wonderful comparison it's just wonderful and uh we look forward to seeing you here in melbourne if you're ever here come and see us in the shop ciao for now